Sega has breathed new life into the fastest hedgehog alive over the past two years, spearheaded by Sonic 4, an episodic sequel that emulates the style and feel of the series' heyday back on the Genesis. Episode 1 received mixed reviews from critics and fans, but the complaints are being addressed in Episode 2, with two particular points of interest that are definitely worth a look. The head of Sonic Team revealed in an interview that while Episode 1's physics were developed from the ground up, Episode 2's engine will be based on the physics found in the Sonic games released on the Genesis. Their goal is to make sure nothing feels unnatural while playing Episode 2, which we can only take to mean that we won't be seeing Sonic's gravity-defying ability to walk upside down or sideways. It's not using the retro engine prominently featured in the recent re-release of Sonic CD, but Sega swears that this next episode's physics will be up to the task. In addition to refining the physics engine to be more faithful, Sonic Episode 2 will bring back classic characters oddly missing from the first installment. Sonic's pal Tails will return to action, and he won't be reduced to a mere sidekick like he was back in Sonic 2. While you can't control Tails in the single-player mode, a second player can step into his shoes thanks to a cooperative mode featuring levels designed to take advantage of the duo's combined ability to clear obstacles that would otherwise be impassable. Tails will not only help out by carrying Sonic through the air, but one new move allows the two to combine into a giant rolling ball and perform a powerful attack. And speaking of familiar faces, Sonic's nemesis Metal Sonic will also return to cause some trouble. Sonic races back onto nearly every platform under the sun this May in Sonic 4 Episode 2. To check back then to find out if Sega delivers on its promise of a more authentic Sonic experience in our full review.